Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to introduce you a bit to my, let's say, hybrid collection. Uh, if you guys know, I started my channel by recycling um, old jewelry, which I still do, but I stopped uh, filming them because I thought I already made 19 and there's so much I can show. I mean, I take apart old stuff, keep the good parts and turn it into other strong jewelry. So it's basic stringing and you know you just use your imagination trying to combine different beads and stuff but since i stopped doing those recycling projects i spent well, most of my time bead weaving and i i am trying to combine those uh, stuff from my recycled projects into my bead weaving because i don't do stringing much lately and those stuff still have to be used so i came up with this bracelet first it's a right ang uh, it's cubic right angle weave and I used up the connectors that came in broken necklaces in one of my projects. And I just fell in love with it. I, I think, you know, you don't really see, uh, I don't know, at least I don't come across a lot of bead woven jewelry where people use connectors that you would usually use in wiring. You know, you would just connect it with pin to another connector and, you know, maybe string a couple beads in between. But, um, I decided to try something different that's why I'm, I'm calling it hybrid because it's not something I've done before and I just think it works pretty well together I think it, I'm just loving this bracelet and uh, I made it for myself and I've already worn it a couple times and it's just so pretty so once I started doing this type of projects I decided why not try to combine different uh, well i still do that i mean there are a lot of projects where you know in in a thumbnail in a picture of my projects you will see the name it will be like i don't know net ring tutorial and in the bottom line there will be a technique i used right angle weave or cra uh, crop plus raw and stuff like that. so i mentioned all the techniques i used but this one is a bit different because this is a payout bracelet and on top of that i made a loom Basically, I used the peyot as a loom. I mean, it's still not perfect loom. This beads, you see, there's nothing underneath, so they can you, you can you can pop them up. But basically, it's basic loom. That's what I did here. I don't do looming myself, so this is as far as I could get. So uh, I decided to call this to hybrid. This is a bit different. I might do the tutorial on this. I might not because it's basically crawl with connectors. So you might just not figure out on your own. If you think I should do, just let me know in the comments and I might do a tutorial on this. But uh, today's project is this too. I'm gonna do the ring first and then sometime in the future, I'm gonna come back to it and make the bracelet. So let's get the materials ready for this one. And look how gorgeous this bracelet is. I just love how it looks on the wrist. And you can make it just a simple pair. You know, you can make so many patterns on top of this. Just using be uh, like a uh, looming patterns, you can create those on top of this. And once you get tired, you can just remove those and create a new one if you want. That's what, what that was the idea behind it. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it or not, but we'll see. So today's tutorial is this ring. Very simple, very uh, easy in the making, but gorgeous result. Again, you, there are so many patterns you can use here, so many color combos. Today, instead of silver, I'm gonna be using turquoise delicas, 11 o delicas, and then on top, we're gonna be using 11 o tohos. So I'm gonna be using gold on the reach, and then I'm gonna, instead of that, I, I think that's hematite color, I'm gonna be using this iris brown. Stop beat, I'm just gonna be using a bicone. Then you'll need a Naimo size D, I'm gonna be using gray color, and you'll need a uh, beading needle size 10 and then you'll need scissors to cut the thread. So get the materials ready, thread your needle with comfortable length. I think I'm gonna take about two yards to get this whole thing done. So depending on the size of your finger and depending how wide you want to do, if you, can, if you just wanna stick around with me, you can, or you can make it wider. It's entirely up to you. I'm just gonna show you the basics. But depending on all those things, you might want to have less or more thread, or you might end up having to add new thread. And in the description box, there is a link to a short tutorial where I show you how to do all those things. But for now, I'm just gonna thread my needle with about 
yard and a half, maybe two, and then we'll get to work. So I have my delicas ready. So if you notice, we're just gonna make a whole band with delicas and then embellish it with the tohos. So for now, you just need your delicas. I'm gonna take my stop beat. I'm gonna take it all the way down and leave a short tail that I can sew in later. That's all I need it for. And make, and take my needle through that stop beat again. So now it should stay in place. Now, this ring is how many? 10 delicas white. You can make it as white or as thin you want. So it's just here, you will have to adjust the number of um, 11 or tohos you are using on top. I will explain you how you can adjust that, but here you just have to decide. You can follow my pattern here. I'm using only 10 delicas in the one row. So you can just follow with that. So I'm gonna pick up 10 delicas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, ten. So I'm gonna drop it down to my stop beat. And we just do simple even count peyot stitch here. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna pick up one delica. I'm gonna skip the first beat and go through the next one and then pull my thread. Oh dear. That wasn't a good start. Okay. And then again, I'm gonna pick up one delica, skip the next beat, pick up the next one. And pull my thread. Then again, I'm gonna pick up one delica, See where my thread's coming out of? I'm gonna skip the next beat and go through the next one. Pick up one delica, skip the next beat, and pick up the next one after. Pick up one beat, skip the next beat, and pick up the last one and pull the thread. Now here, once we're done adding this row, we wanna go ahead and adjust the beads so it looks more or less like a peyote. So it will be easier to continue. Here we are. That's the beginning of our peyote. I'm just gonna push the stop bit closer to it. And from here, it's very easy. You pick up one delica, go through the first sticking out bead, and pull the thread. Pick up one delica, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one delica, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one delica, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one delica and go through the next last sticking out bead. And then you, that's how you just continue. Here you flip it over, pick up one delica, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one delica, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one delica. Go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one delica, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up one delica, go through the next sticking out bead. You can flip it over and just continue. Pick up one bead. Go through the next sticking out bead. Very simple, very repetitious. You can't go wrong here.
and I'm gonna let you continue on your own until you have your full required length and how you do that just choose the finger you are making it for put it around and just continue all the way until it comes back on the other side so it has to be touching this part and then we're gonna zip it up and connect it so get the length you need and then I'm gonna meet you back here and then we're gonna connect it and then we start embellishing it so I have my required length almost ready and one thing I wanted to explain like when you are done with uh, we can just remove that stop bead now when you are done with the length you want to connect it together right so when you connect it it should fall in together nicely mine doesn't because the beads are opposite each other they should be able to zip it up but mine doesn't because it's sideways here right if I try to zip it up we need it to be straight but straight I can't because the beads are opposing each other how to fix that you just add one more uh, period raw so I'm just gonna add quickly one more row here and now look if I try it falls in perfectly see and now if I just put it around my finger, perfect. So I'm gonna zip it up now. And how we do that is very easy. So my thread's here. I'm gonna start going from the opposite side through the sticky beads. So here I'm gonna go through the first sticky bead here on this side. Then I'm gonna go through the one on the other side. Then I'm gonna come back through this side. one on the other side and this side it's like tying a corset really almost there and the last one on this side and here I want to go ahead and pull both the threads, the tail and the one we have. Just pull them tight. Look, spotless. You can't even tell where it is now. So all I do now, this is the tail, I'm gonna hold it down. Say it's not connected here, so I'm gonna take my needle here Then I'm just gonna take it away from that spot for a bit. Just pull your thread here and go down here. And now we're gonna start embellishing it. So I'm just gonna take my Tahoe's. I just need a bit of gold and a bit of brown. And because of my um, ring is 10 bits wide, I used seven tohos now i'm gonna show you here so i'm gonna pick up one gold five brown and then one gold so i have seven beads right and now look if i put my thread straight there is no opposite bead so what you're gonna do you're just gonna go slightly to the left or to the right it doesn't really matter so i'm just gonna go through this bit here and then when i pull my thread it stays up there and then i'm gonna take my needle down the next bead pick up the same beads one gold five brown And one gold and now if I put it next to my period look so it has to be in between the uh, outside beads so if you're making wider or thinner ring just make sure you have same amount of tohos that will stick between the outside beads outside delicacy see? so and then I'm gonna go through this bit here 
and pull my thread and then I'm gonna go back the next bead pick up one gold five brown and one gold and then I'm gonna go this bit here down and then up the next bit and see how many rows I did two four six eight and the reason you stop there because this uh, toes are bigger than delicates and when you keep on adding them next to each other it creates a curve look see that curve there so you don't want to make it you don't want to add too many of toes on top because it will shrink it so bad that it will be too small for your ring so but this amount is perfect so I have eight rows of tohos so i'm gonna show you how to do one more time and you're gonna continue on your own so i have one gold five brown and one gold and then i'm gonna go through the opposite piece and then you come back around and continue like that until you have your required number of rows i have eight of them so i'm gonna add four more and i'm gonna meet you back here so i have my eight rows and I'm just gonna get rid of the tail now. That's all I do. So I'm not gonna make any knots because we are working with delicates. In delicates, the you know, in between those beads, there is literally no space. So you don't really need to make knots. But in the tutorial where I show you how to add thread, I do not because I just assume you might be using round beads. And if you're using round beads for the base, you have to make knots because there is a lot of space in between them and not making knots won't hold the thread in place so i'm just gonna take my needle down here and then i'm just gonna go through some beads away from that place that's all i do Then here I want to make passes back and forth, so I'm gonna go the opposite bead, I'm gonna go up. Then go down the previous bead again. And then here I can just go ahead and cut the thread at the very base so go ahead do the same thing with this first tail just take through some beads make passes back and forth and i'm gonna meet you back here and my rings are ready very simple but very gorgeous and imagine how many color combos you can make and you know i just made a simple pattern where i have line of beads on edges and then different bead in the uh, in between you can make different patterns you can have all this in one color or you can make you know different shapes here so it's entirely up to you i just showed you how to do it and you can make your own patterns gorgeous isn't it so let me know if you want me to make a tutorial on the bracelet i have a feeling you might just understand how to do it on your own but if you want me to do it, just let me know in the comments and i will read it and if you got if several of you want it i'll make a tutorial on it so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye